Hello. Let us now solve the question 18 in the CKS Killer Shell Exam Simulator. Question number 18, task rate 4 percentage. Then the namespace security contains five secrets of type opaque, which can be considered highly confidential. The latest incident prevention investigation revealed that the service account p.oster had too broad access to the cluster for some time. So this SA or service account should never had access to any secrets in that namespace. Find out which secrets in the namespace security this service account did access by looking at the audit logs under this audit log. Um, and change the password to any new string of only those secrets that were accessed by this service account. Note, you can use JQ to render the JSON more readable. All right. So let's take, um, first let's uh, switch to the given context and then take a look at uh, the audit logs here. So the audit logs usually is a JSON file with loads of information and each line will have a JSON entry in it. So if you if we pipe that to JQ, it will pretty print the JSON in a more readable format like this. Right. Now, uh, we have to check or grab all the events generated by this user or all the logs that contains this user. And then if we supply or pipe it to JQ, it still will do the job, but filter only the events or logs that has this entry in it. So that has reduced most of it. So now we see that, you know, some of the data is clearly exposed in the logs, which is not a good idea, right? Um, so what else we can further fine tune? So if we take this example, the response object, so we should not log the response object. Response object will have all the data logged as well. So if we do set the audit log up to the metadata level, it will not have the, the payload or the actual response uh, exchanged between the API server and the client which is kubelet in this case, or kubectl. All right. So let us focus now on the question or how to solve this question. So still there are like more entries. So some we clearly see uh, it is a get secret, and this is the secret URI but we are not sure how many other secrets are comprom compromised. So it's still the same entry. Right. So we can Okay, let's now look at these two information. So let's look at the request URIs. So we'll see if it is just secrets. So I'll grab or if we can also do uh, grab for the self link, which has the complete URL and we'll know if it is secret. So, so we have so much of information, but we are only interested in secrets. 
which is used by, or accessed by this user. So now we could see these two are the secrets accessed by the service account p.oster. So only two of the secrets are compromised. So in that the question now says change the password to any new string of only those secrets that we know, know that were accessed by this essay. So these are the two secrets. Now uh, let's generate a random password. Let's say random vault token. And we need to supply that to base 64. Pipe it to base 64. And another thing, um, yeah. So this is the new newly generated password for the vault token. Now we have to update um, the secret in the security namespace. And we're going to edit the secret and the secret name is vault token. So this one, we are going to get rid of the existing secret because that is already compromised. I have updated the new secret, it's done. And we are going to do the same thing for uh, MySQL admin secret. Copy this. And edit the MySQL admin password with the newly generated base64 encoded thing. So it's all done. Um, just to make sure it is updated. Output equals JSON path equals dot data. Uh, we'll see what is the password, whether it is having the new password that we have updated. So we will decode random vault token. So it looks good. So that's all for this question and thanks for your time.